Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode in my 15 minute build series. And in this episode, we are going to be building this barn. So let's take a look on it, uh, take a look at it from the inside. There's some room here for some cows or sheep or whatever animals you feel so inclined to keep in your barn. Upstairs, there's some storage for all of the hay that you will need to keep your animals alive. You could, of course, if you were building this in a survival world, also use this for real storage, like chests and whatnot. Outside, we've got a nice, gradually sloping roof. And some nice highlights. So, let's go ahead and get right to building. I'm going to go ahead and put 15 minutes on the clock, starting right now. Okay, now the first thing we are going to need is we're going to need some red stained clay and some quartz and what we're gonna want is to build in a 10 by 13 area so we will go like so leave two and like so okay now over here this is going to be 13 and then on this side we're going to do the same thing one two three leave a gap of two one two three and then the quartz, then we'll go ahead and connect this all the way around. And now we're going to go ahead and bring these up five, I believe, like so. But we're only going to bring the red stained clay up to a total of four high. There we go. And then that'll come up as well. And we can fill those in right away while we're at it. Bring that up. And do do. Now, the sides, these sides that we're working on right now, they're a little bit drab in this build. I couldn't really figure out a way to get the inside to look the way I wanted it with space for the animals and stuff in a way that. I liked. Uh, I, I just couldn't get it to look how I wanted it to uh, in such a small scale barn. If I made a much larger barn, I'm sure I could have made it much more uh, detailed on the outside, but I wasn't able to do it in this build the way I wanted it, so I decided to just go ahead and leave the sides fairly boring. Uh, this series, as you know if you've been watching it, is not a series where I'm trying to build everything in such a way that is amazing and unbelievably awesome and super detailed and all that kind of stuff. These builds are meant more to serve as kind of a starting point for you to work on and make them your own. So that's what we're doing here. Now, we've got the first floor in. We're going to go ahead and knock out some space for the windows, and now we're going to do those roof and it's not quite as hard as you think so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to fill this in with the red stained clay like so then we're going to want to bring this like that then we'll bring it over we'll bring it over again and that should be over the door and then we'll bring it like that and oop, like so so you end up with kind of this shape then we'll go ahead and fill that in with the red stained clay we'll knock out the space for this big picture window door thing later for now let's get back to this portion of it knock that out and like so okay and then once again fill this part in with the red stained clay there we go okay now the roof in this bad boy 
is made with dark oak. So we're going to need some dark oak. Oh, not brown wool. No, I don't want your brown wool. Dark oak planks, dark oak stairs, and there's the slabs. So we'll just bring those in like this all the way across the side. I suppose we might as well tack these end pieces on too while we're thinking about it. And we'll bring this one all the way across as well, like so. This will once again be the stairs. And then this will be stairs as well. If I can place them properly, that is. Doo -doo. Try that again. Okay, there we go. Now this one is basically going to be a plank and then a full block, but we're going to basically use planks all the way across. So we're just using this full dark oak block on this one row right here, just to elevate these slabs a little bit. And then we'll bring it across like that. And then we'll fill those in. These are also plank, or the, uh, the half slabs. So I suppose we can fill those in too. Ooh. There we go. And like that. And then we'll do these. This is basically just giving us this nice, gradually sloping roof. Gives it a bit more of a natural type look rather than straight and jagged hard lines. We'll go ahead and fill those these uh, stair lines in as well. Like so. And like so. Okay. So let's go ahead. Actually, we'll just kind of do one of these. Do do. Getting there, getting there. Okay, excellent. So now this gets filled in with the dark oak planks, like so. The top of, the, of those gets filled in with the stairs, just like we did on the other side. And then this row here also gets filled in with the stairs too. So there you go. Now we've got that nice roof shape that we're looking for. Right here, we're going to knock out a 4x2 section. And we're going to actually do that on both sides. And down here, we can knock out these windows as well. All right. Now we need to do the floor. So let's grab some oak and some more oak and some oak slabs. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and knock out this whole floor. It's like so. We can knock out those two blocks as well. There we go. And we will end up filling all of this in with oak planks. There we go. Do do. And let's just bring these all the way around. And it's getting kind of dark in here now that we've got that roof on. So we're going to be doing those lights in just a little bit here. Do do. Alright, so there we go. There's our floor. Now up here, we're going to do some upside down stairs, just like that. We'll do those on either side. 
like so. Then we're going to take these oak slabs and bring them all the way across. This is going to make up our second floor. This will make up the actual floor for our second floor. And we're getting there. All right, that's probably good enough. Come down here, and we're going to count. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two. Okay. Now right here, we're going to fill these in. These are be going to be kind of the support pillars, if you will. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just like that. We're going to put a row of slabs across. Just to give it kind of this support look. Now we're going to need some glowstone. And some dark oak fences. Uh, while we're at it, we might as well do those fences too. So let's fill this part in. They go right here, and then we do that, and right here, we're going to bring those out. Okay, and then we'll go here, and here, and here, and there. And then we'll fill those in like so. Now we're going to knock a spot out here with a ladder going up and we're going to do the same thing on the outside of each of these four corner pillars that will lead us up into the loft where all the hay gets stored and once again we're going to want to put in lights now where did I I'm trying to remember I want to say the lights were right here Maybe? Uh, toggle... That is not how you spell downfall. Try that again. There we go. Get rid of this annoying rain. Let me double check the other build and let's see where we put the lights. I think I put them in the right spot. Yes. Okay, so we're good. Alright, now in these corners, we're going to put in these oak fences. Just like that to give it a little extra detail. Now we can go ahead and clear all of this stuff out. And grab ourselves some hay bales. And I think we'll just put those up here and here. And then we'll do maybe a, a row like that. And... Uh, a row that faces that way and then we'll do another row like that and another row on its side just like so I think that'll work so there's our upstairs loft with all the hay being stored now we need some spruce doors to go here and there And here and here. And then the last thing that we need are the animals. So we'll just spawn in a few cows. And there we go. This build is complete. And I have 13 minutes and 14 seconds on my clock. So we are good to go, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like subscribe or leave me a comment it really helps me out and I do appreciate it you can also find me on Twitter and Facebook uh, there are links in the description below otherwise guys thanks for watching and I'll definitely see you next time